back up there. What the hell is that? Easy, miss. I've got you. Shalom, New York! I am Rabbi Simcha Weinstein, Chair of the Religious Affairs Committee at the Pratt Institute. I'm also known affectionately as the comic book rabbi. The Jewish connection to the all-American superhero who has captured the world for the last 75 years was not known until now. We are comic book fans, and as kids we were obsessed with tales of the underdog overcoming impossible odds. And as Jews, we could identify with our heroes. But people typically don't associate Jews in comics. So when we heard there was a comic book rabbi, we had to talk to him to learn more. In the late 1930s and 40s, it was a particularly anti-Semitic period in American history. Jews were barred from schools. If you were a Jew with serious artistic aspirations, you couldn't get into advertising. Comic books were in their infancy. It was a joke. It was the lowest rung on the artistic food chain, and there were no barriers to entry, which is why it's largely a Jewish invention. Spider-Man, Batman, The Hulk, X-Men, Fantastic Four, the list is endless. The world's first superhero in 1938, Superman. Up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Yes, it's Superman. Strange visitor from another planet who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. And who, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way. They actually based the character of Superman on the story of Moses. Baby Moses is put in a reed basket. He's sent down the Nile. He grows up in a foreign culture. He's raised in the house of Pharaoh, yet he becomes the savior of humanity. What's the Superman story? Baby Kal-El, which is Hebrew for the voice of God, is put into a little pod ship. He's sent to a foreign land. He grows up in a Midwestern cornfield with the Kent family, and he becomes the savior of humanity. For me, there was something transcendent about superheroes, the perennial battles of good and evil, light and darkness. You can be a rabbi and a comic book nerd. I'm the rabbi to the geeks and freaks. So I am the official rabbi to Comic Con. Us beards should keep together. Beards should stick together. Oh, yeah. Would you like to have your spiritual battery charged? No, thank you. Okay. All right, we're here at Comic Con with Pee Wee Herman. Hi. It's really you? Absolutely. Why wouldn't it be? Can I trust my children around you, Pee Wee? Oh, of course you can. I'm very good with kids. That was a long time ago. Bob Effect, uh, your gun is way too close to my, uh, my Brit Mila. Pee Wee, have you been bar mitzvahed? Because you look like you're wearing a 1980s bar mitzvah suit. Are you aware that Thor was created by a couple of Jewish writers? No, I did not know that. Have you been bar mitzvahed? No, I have not. This, believe it or not, is going to be your bar mitzvah. Would you like to participate? Where is that attached to? Okay, right over here. What am I putting in there? I'm going to say one prayer. Shema. Shema. Yishoel. Yishoel. Adonai. Adonai. El Aheinu. El Aheinu. Adonai. Adonai. Echad. Echad. Okay. We're good to go. Wait, that's it? That's it, man. I just had a bar mitzvah? You had a bar mitzvah. Say mazel tov. Mazel tov. Simen tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simen tov. Yay, lanu, v'yakol Yishoel. I think every one of us has the traits of a superhero that wants to transcend self and save the world and heal the world. It's not easy to be a superhero. It takes a lot of work. And spandex. Wait, what's the name of this movie? Punk Juice? Mella. <laughs> I'm about to get punked.